Ayan o, ganyan yung pag nakadride. Hey guys, it's me, Eugene again. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. At sa hindi pa nakapag-subscribe sa YouTube channel ko, please click the subscribe button. At sa mga hindi pa nakakilala sa akin, uh, my name is Eugene. I'm from Cruise Ship Life. I'm working on a cruise ship. Um, to this video guys, um, we will be talking about... Uh, dry dock. So, kung nakafollow kayo yung guys sa YouTube channel ko or sa Facebook, Instagram or sa kung ano man yung social media ko. So, last um, October and November this year, 2019, um, we went to Marseille, France for dry dock. So, ibig sabihin kong dry dock so from the word dry so, hindi basa so wala si dagat kumbaga so we went to Marseille France sa uh, shipyard to do a um, refurbishment of the ship so basically um, ang ginagawa ng barko pag naka dry dock is well sa cruise ship i don't know with other ano vessel sa cruise ship guys is uh, to refurbish kumbaga i-upgrade yung mga facilities dito sa barko like for this one, sa uh, last namin na dry dock is um, we upgraded the carpets, the cabins, everything like the, um, the atrium, the pool decks, lahat lahat guys. Para lang sa ika puputi at ikakaganda ng cruise ship. So what is like working on dry dock? So well, working on dry dock is different sa pag normal operations ka. So for dry docks, um, ano nga ba ang gagawin mo? Ano nga ba ang gagawin ko for dry docks? So, um, so ngayon ako nasa housekeeping department. So the, so basically, ang ginagawa ng, namin sa housekeeping department. So sa position ko ngayon is um, tumutulong kami sa pag, so basically, linis. Linis lang talaga guys. So linis, ligpit, mga ganito, tapan basura, mga ganyan. But if you will be in a uh, restaurant department, so depende din kasi um, nung last dry dock namin, uh, we had some uh, team from restaurant or yung ibang mga taga-restaurant na um, they sent to us for help para tumulong guys sa amin kung ano man yung nait, nait talaga na or anong, kung ano man yung uh, trabaho na naibigay, na, naibigay sa amin nung dry dock. So, well, depending on your department, you will receive instructions from your supervisor as to your duties and work hours. Are you going to stay in your cabin during dry dock? Well, yes, um, you will still stay in your cabin, but may ibang, ano, um, may ibang uh, crew na pinapalipat mo na sa guest cabins kasi nga, um, may i-upgrade or may um, aayusin sa kabina nila. So, there could be some reasons uh, kung bakit sila pinapalipat sa ibang kabina. Ganon. Will the crew internet still work? So, yes. Uh, depende. Kasi nung uh, nag-dry na kami sa, yung, sa previous um, company ko, sa previous bar ko, uh, bago to, yung nung nag-dry na kami, yung internet guys, hindi siya, gumaga, hindi siya gumana. Uh, kung baga, kasi may in-upgrade sila so they needed to like um, turn off the internet what good thing about it is yung company uh, they provide internet for free so dun lang sa mismo may isang location lang yung bar yung isang uh, bar for the guest lang so dun yung na set up yung internet so dun ka lang makapag internet kung gusto mo internet so pumunta ka lang dun sa ano yun, sa bar tapos dun Unlimited, free, free to use. Or where are we going to eat? So for dry dock guys, yung um, crew mess. So most probably yung crew mess is uh, kung saan kayo kakain. Normally diba sa crew mess, pero pag nasa dry dock kayo guys, yung kakainan nyo or I mean, yung kung saan kayo kakain guys, um, more likely malilipat kayo sa main dining restaurant so um, the timings would be different from the normal you know timing send you sa crew mess so uh, like sa amin dati may um, pwede lang kami kumain so for before so yung breakfast is 6am to 8.30am tapos yung lunch 
11 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. and yung dinner is 6 p.m. to 8.30 p.m. So, in our case, nung nag-dry na kami, guys, yung crew nasa kabila, tapos yung mga taga-corporate or yung mga officers nasa kabila din. So, separate kami from the corporate tsaka yung sa mga officers. Yun. Will the crew bar be open? Um, on board guys, we have the crew bar. So yes, yung crew bar open siya. Pero nung time na yun, hindi gumagana yung... Or hindi kami allowed mag-swipe ng card nuts. Yun. So we use cash or so US dollars yung binabayad namin. What if I smoke? Kung nakadry duck na guys, so... Yung... Lahat na... Uh, I mean... Yung buong barko is a non-smoking area. So yung smoking area is nasa labas na nasa labas ng barko sa shipyard mismo so doon yung, yung may smoking area kasi nga napaka delikado so safety first dito sa pag nakadry na ka kasi madali lang magkasunog mag, madali lang magka-accidente ganito ganyan so yung kung gusto mag-smoke pumunta ka lang sa labas ng shipyard doon ka mag-smoke so disadvantage sa mga smokers kasi nga bababa pa sila para lang makapag-smoke what do I wear? So for uh, dry dock guys, for dry dock, well, dito sa barko ko ngayon, um, they allowed us to wear like civilians. I mean, civilian yung normal lang na damit natin na sinusuot. But with shoes, hindi pwede yung sinas lang. You can wear, you can wear shorts, you can wear pants, yun. Yung uh, t-shirts, yung normal lang. Yung din din ano, lantaran. But with our name badge as well. So we need to wear our name badge. Yung uh, crew offices for crew. Um, bukas pa rin yun. Ayan. So yun guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Ayan, so if you like the video, please click the subscribe button guys. And if you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, please click the subscribe button guys. And if you know someone who wants to work in a cruise ship, uh, give them ideas by sharing my YouTube videos to your Facebook, Instagram, or any social media guys. And please follow me to my Facebook page, Eugene Man. My Instagram, I am Eugene Man. Link in the description box below guys and if you want shout out just give a comment below if you have comment suggestions give or drop your comments below guys Ayun. so this is again Eugene Mans for crew ship life see you in the next video ciao